Sea under the sea, under the sea, under the sea. Wrong song. This is a warning to all of you out there who may or may not give a crap. Woo! What's going on, friends? Transition, damn it. What's going on, friends? (laughs) It is Sunday, the high end vape forum, and, um, as you can see, we're a man down. Uh, man down, where are you from? Which is really making us nervous because we were talking to Louie yesterday, and today he, uh, Lou, Lou, Louis had the flu, okay? Louis had the flu, and then all of a sudden he's better. He's like, let's do the show. And then no answer today, no Louie today. He's not here. So I'm kind of nervous about Louie. Uh, hopefully he'll pop in. And he just overslept or something. So who's got the spaghetti along? But for now, <laughs> you just got me in swags. Here we go. My name's Stan, and you found the Tenacious TX Vapes channel. Today's show is brought to you by significantly less hair. This doesn't work. <laughs> significantly less hair. <laughs> yeah. I like it. That was good. Let's be honest. I almost didn't wake up for this show. Shit. Well, we've got an issue. Uh, well, we've had an issue with we've missed about f- two shows in a row, and that's that's not a big deal. Um, you know, we had some stuff. We had some stuff with work. We had some stuff with family. We had some stuff with illness, and um, we've been trying to get a guest on that. I guess has been rescheduled because Louis's been taking care of that, and he was supposed to be on today. And we don't have contact with him, and Louis not here. So we have. So we'll talk about it next time. Yay! <laughs> Just for all of you out there that are wondering or curious, it was in fact going to be the guy who invented Chinese clones. The Tesla valve. Yeah. Chinese like clones. Like not 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 like clone vape gear. I mean like. Human cloning. Thanks, Stevie J says. I'm here that's for the you, most Stan. High, that's huh? the most high-end cloning there is. High-end cloning is the... Wait, what? Human cloning. Human cloning. Uh, is that like... Uh, Hans those... Bricks. We were going to have him on the show. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Um, screw that guy. Uh, he, he bailed on us. He didn't show up. That's not Louis's fault. Uh, he's just a dick. <laughs> Hans Bricks. 
Gary the Great, and- it's a big deal to me, and I'm highly disappointed. Well, I apologize for that. There's nothing I can do about that. My apologies. All right, Eric Sutherland asked, can we talk high end for poor folk? And I think that's actually like as much as you may think that that's, you know, a loaded question. Uh, I think that's a, a good subject of, of uh, discussion. High end for poor folk. What does that mean exactly? Does I mean, that mean it's like- kind of like saying luxury hotels for people on welfare. Budget because, high end. Because there's no such thing. You just understand that we're not all created equal. But as far as money in your pockets concerned, high end for poor folk, what that means is, generally speaking, is spend less on getting Chinese products more frequently and save your money and get high end products less frequently. Then once you build up a repertoire of a few high end products, you'll see it in the groups. You start trading with what you have. You buy a few things or you trade for a few things. And then once you have like a a basis, maybe a couple thousand dollars worth of product, or even, you know, a couple hundred dollars worth of product, a mod in an Addy, like you just have a RSA and a little, you know, Mex quonker and it's considered high end. You know, you have a Sentinel and something else. You could trade that to somebody who doesn't have it and then you get something new and then you trade and you trade and you trade. You add a little bit of money on with your trades. And so <laughs> you just got to create some sort of a basis of high end and then you can start trading and doing well, that kind of stuff. What if he meant it a different way? What if he meant what if it- he's just being a dick? No, 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 no. What if he meant it like a like a lower cost stuff that's considered high end? Okay. I mean, maybe like budget friendly. Entry um, level high end, uh, cyclone mods. Uh, what else? Would you consider that high end? <laughs> yes. I think it's right there on the line. Yeah. I'd say it's entry level. I'd say people trade. Uh, what the karma. Right? What's the, what's the car by mass mod? Uh, not mass mods. Mission XV. Mission XV Mission is not XV, high end. Right. They're they're entry level high end. Same thing with Cyclone. Um, I'd say when you get up into the real like the next step up would maybe be like the Wicked stuff because uh, you know the Sad Panda or whatever they're whatever the name of the freaking company is. I really don't know. Their their company is literally just a panda picture and their oh, products are the wicked, wicked. Wicked. Yeah, like that's their company name cool so the wicked is a is a good step because it, you like <sighs> the wicked i still use it i i love it like i had the monarch v1 the monarch v2 the Aco. i had some of the highly highest sought after single-sided airflow addies in high end and i kept the wicked and the others i, I traded or sold maybe it's because they were easy to do so but i think that you could still trade or sell your wicked pretty well as well but that's I entry the level wicked, but i don't use it i like that's the monarch sub- better yeah, it's sub one hundred dollars. It was like ninety five bucks, and you get two caps and all this extra stuff. So you could find deals like that. I'd say a good group for that would be Squonk America. Uh, I'm not personally in the group because I don't like the guys, but um, you know they've never really personally done anything bad. I just don't like them. Um, but you could go into that group and you could you could they they have lots of deals they run for caps etc. But Wicked is is definitely high end and that's affordable if you can get on a list for it or if you get into their group and and you um and you enter your name to it. You know what, man? <clears throat> Rick Crawford says I have mech mods from Signature Tips. <clears throat> um, Signature Tips, the stuff that they make in shop, I would consider that high end personally. Um, it, it's it's just the quality's out outrageous. It's it's amazing. They they do fantastic job. Uh, the only thing is is that that's not like really those are like four hundred dollar mods, so I wouldn't really consider that budget friendly. Yeah, me. and rebuildable rides as ESG 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 not budget no. friendly. You're talking two hundred dollars <laughs> retail for the Skyfall. No, no, it's not. I know you're all excited about your Skyfall. You just did a video on it and everything. You just got it. I know that's uh, uh, this right here is uh one of those things that was yeah absolutely an 80 dollar mod box the vapor not la petite box that um it's actually you know it's a super nice box but it's got a wismech chip in it and i don't know but if you WISMEC could put arctic made... fox on that huh you could put arctic fox on that wismech you, chip you could but this is one of those mods that is not looked down upon in the high-end 
uh, side of things. It's a super, I, I mean, it's a super nice, well done box and it was 80 bucks. Um, so, I mean, there's things like that out and about what's the, uh, damn, I just got something for under a hundred bucks, a couple, couple weeks ago. A stash box. Huh? By BMM. No, no, no. That's not under a hundred bucks. I, I got an atomizer that was under a hundred bucks that I was, dude, I've been going through so much old shit that I completely forgot. Uh, oh, dude, the, the, the Venom. <clears throat> yeah, the I got a good. Venom right here for sale. <laughs> hey, somebody, somebody wants to get in a high no, end. Don't just... sell that. Don't sell that on my channel, please. <laughs> hit, hit, hit me up, dude. I have like, I have like eight high end addies that I'm selling for like half price. No, the, the, um, the Venom stuff, the DNV stuff is really, is really cool. I like the Venom, uh, I'm more of a fan of the RDTA. Well, that's why I want to get rid of the RDA is because I like the RDTA. So what's the point of having both? Yeah, ex one? exactly. Especially when the RDTA is squonkable, right? But the RDA right. is really good if you want something short. Uh, and, and you can drip bucks. in it, which is what's unique. You don't have a lot of uh, you don't have a lot of 22 millimeter at 22 millimeter addies in high end that have a big enough. It's a proprietary tip, but how have a big enough uh, top hole that you could drip right into it. So you could throw this on like a a tube or whatever and you could drip it which is what i like about it bro can we talk about can we talk about what i got working right now sure what i got working right now I is it gonna be high end yeah all right yeah 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 um <clears throat> i'm trying to find the pictures hold on but i got a uh alex stabwood it's no longer Alex Stabwood on Facebook. They made him change his name. It's Alexander Sichivsky. Um, I got a special block from him sent directly to Marco so that I can get my very next uh, visionary mod. And the second I find the picture, I will show you. Here we go. Bam. Bum, bum, bum. So now I need to get this back open. Sorry, guys. Um, with everything going on, with so many people doing live streams and all that, and Zoom being weird, uh, it's actually screwed up the way we do these live broadcasts. So I'm having to capture this image through a different kind of way. Uh, the Zoom Direct plugin is not working, so it's taking a minute to get to everything the way it's supposed to be. So give me just one second. Uh, and I will show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. In the meantime, enjoy Swag's banter. Yes, hello, Jeremy Lane, Sick Boy, Chris Storm, a.k.a. <clears throat> Tuna, and the rest of chat. Hello. <laughs> hello, friends. <laughs> Same thing with the Jock Vapor stuff. Wait. Yes, Jack Vapor. The, the, the um, L Concord, Lake Concord and stuff, those are uh, those are cheap. Like inexpensive? No. No, they're Isn't that not. the Jack Vapor stuff? No, that's oh not, the Le Petit box is the Jack Vapor. No, Jack no, Vapor. Vape Jack Vapor is a UK. I believe they're out of the UK and uh, they make DNA boxes. Uh, that's actually pretty oh. good. Type it in, Google oh, it. J A C Vapor. I'm not interested. They're probably out <laughs> of Okay, here we go. Bam! Check this out from Alexander. Uh, Alexander Stabwood, this thing is my new. I showed it to you already, Swags. I believe you're uh, you've seen it. The pink, uh, quilted maple. That's kind of like oh, kind of like the one that I, I have thought it was already. faulted. No, it's quilted, and it has that 3D kind of wavy action happening to it. Can you explain to everybody the difference between spalted and quilted maple? Well, spalted maple. I'm not a wood guy uh i don't know a ton about it but i do know spalted maple is um it has like a fungus or something in it when they that that causes these black kind of lines in fact no my my i thought my my ukulele is not spalted maple it's koa but um <clears throat> spalted maple has like these black lines in it in fact i could just find you a picture of it screw it 
and it looks freaking cool it, it adds a bunch of different patterns and stuff the quilted maple it um it looks like it has like these 3d waves in it so let me show you spalted maple right here here we go here's ah good, thank you dane here's a good image of spalted maple open link a new tab nope that's not what i was trying to do spalted maple has fungus in the yeah. cracks yeah here we go <clears throat> this is what's cool about spalted maple is that it does this bam bam so spalted maple has these like crazy black lines in between all the grains and everything with that's the fungus and uh it's actually a lot cooler to me when they don't add like any color or anything to it i just like the way it looks natural it's really really cool looking uh that's spalted maple quilted maple quilted maple quilted, quilted maple, maple. That's, that's what we're doing. Quilted maple, bam. So this is quilted maple here. Open image and new tab, bam. This is quilted maple. And quilted maple has, you can see how it looks like it has these 3D grains like popping out towards you in the Z-axis, not running along the sides. And uh, that's what I've been getting from Alexander. That's what my... Uh, visionary mods are and i love it i love the quilted maple i think it's gorgeous transition damn it i think it's be wait no that's, that's not it. burl wood that's the wrong one this is the one the quilted maple if it'll focus there you go i know that mod. it just looks so sexy anyway that's me i'm a quilted maple fan i also like koa a lot but i don't think i think i talked to marco and i don't think he thought koa for a mod was a real good idea <clears throat> i don't really remember i prefer delrin or aluminum have i been losing weight robert uh you prefer delrin over aluminum how have you been losing weight during quarantine it's called it's called uh, voluntary starvation or intermittent fasting. I don't think I have been losing weight, Robert Riggin. I'm about to put a video up where I just painted a mod. And uh, if you look at it, I'm pretty fat in that video, man. I think it's just Super a, slim a, Stan. It's just a good camera angle. Yeah. My fupa is the only part of me that's fat. <laughs> <laughs> I hope someone did a spit take. You have a quilt top, Les Paul? That's awesome. Heck yeah. I had a quilted maple Washburn guitar, uh, acoustic guitar that I love. I had a Fender Stratocaster with a Dodge Viper paint coat on it because I scraped fuck in the back of it, and my brother worked at a car dealership, so I had to send it to him, and he repainted it for me because my, my mom didn't want it to say fuck in the back of my guitar. Why'd you do that, Swags? I was a teenager. You're a rebel? Yeah. In the midnight hour. I was playing my like Christian metal on my Fender Stratocaster. Actually, it was a Strat, not a Stratocaster. What's uh? What are you vaping on? Hmm. This is an Infinix by Smock. You want to know what I'm vaping on for the show, or just what was in my mouth? What? Well, I don't want to hear moment. about what's in your mouth, considering what's all the freaky shit that happens at your house. But what's in my mouth? <laughs> that's swagon's favorite game to play <laughs> yeah you turn all the lights off with your friends right and you just uh feel around with your mouth to figure out who it is uh no what do you what's in on your buffet brother my buffet is stacked today and i'm gonna start out with my newest setup and the one that i haven't been able to put down and that is my mako v2 by mako if you guys haven't looked at this yet like if you were a fan of the first one this is better in every way than the first version in every way it's smaller it's more rounded it the door is better the buttons on the outside just make it hassleless to change your wattage up and down and there's a freaking tamascus button option oh you finally got your tamascus yeah this is as much tamascus as i want especially for the price i think it was 65 bucks just for the button it was worth it though on top of that, you might say, this that looks familiar, but the color doesn't. What is that? This is the Noricum Strybog, dude. The Strybog. Yeah, with a DLC cap. Those will be coming soon. Scoop one up. This Addy, 
pleasantly surprised by it so far. You, you know was, what? You know what? Actually, that one's mine. Um, Swaggins got the package with all of our Strybugs that we bought in them. They all got sent to Swaggins. He picked through and got the lowest serial number. There were two and- Strybogues in there, and let's be fair. They both came to me. I didn't expect it, but I was like, holy shit, one of these is stands. Let's look at the serial numbers. And yes, mine's lower now. <laughs> I got 64. Stan will be getting 67 in the mail any day now. Damn it. I'm excited. Yeah. I've been waiting for that thing for a long time. Yeah. I, for- I forgot we bought it, actually, till you messaged and said, hey, they came. We got extra goodies. This is What's the box that? that comes in. That's the I got a stainless tip and ring for it. But basically, uh, there you go. That's how it comes in. The deck would be popped in there. Nice little box right there. Nice presentation. But yeah, so far so good. I put like a I put a point a point three alien in here with a two point five millimeter inner diameter by breeze tones out of adelaide australia uh and it's rocking inside of that i have tango melon by transistor one of my all-time favorites uh tangerine mango watermelon and i'm also rocking the stratum delrin with the sx 355j uh, i love this chip uh by the way i also love that this this little uh battery cap is a half is a quarter turn so yeah. you literally quarter turn it and pop it out Friggin' love that. I mean, little things, bro. Um, it's just a solidly built mod. It just feels solid. You have one, one of my of favorites ornament. I own. I yeah. have the ornament. Yeah. Yep. And uh, on top is the Stank, the Stellar Tank by Stellar Mods. Uh, haven't stopped using it since I got it. So thanks for the trade, Ashley Doviak. I finally threw your name out there. Thanks. I do like the Stank and <laughs> you're to blame. So uh, inside of there, I have Pango by transistor it's a pineapple mango i want to mix these two flavors together and make my own flavor called topango mango melon um <laughs> topango mango melon <laughs> but that has yet to be created because the guy who owns this line doesn't doesn't like to make money um clearly because he could have made millions off of how much i promote his juices topango um, mango melon <laughs> next yes next i've all i've got the sat burn um, in the two-tone brass and stainless in 18650 mode with the flavor RDTA on top um, with a Ooh. DHD popcorn. Um, I think it's popcorn. I don't remember, but it's DHD mouth to lung micro tip, custom resin tips, uh, DHD accessories. She makes great tips, honestly. I have a shit ton of them. I should use more of them, but I I, I just can never make a choice. They're all so beautiful. And uh, last but not least, I have Pango in there as well. Last but not least, I've got my Smuggler in 18350 or 18650 Look rather. You mech modded it up, man. Yeah, 415 RTA in mouth to lung. I actually have the direct lung deck on here. This is the 1.5 deck. I have the direct lung uh, pin in, but I have it cut down to one airflow hole and I'm using it in mouth to lung. I don't know. Don't judge me. Inside of here, I have 5150 Detox in 12 milligram, and I just finished the bottle, so I don't I threw it out. I don't have it anymore. But that's what I got in here. It's a uh, uh, crisp apple creme brulee or honey crisp apple creme brulee, uh, and it's freaking fantastic. I think keep your eyes out in our group because every now and then um, they're our partner, uh, they're our sponsor of the show, 5150. So thank you to them. By the way, you can use the code. Um, the VF? Nope. Nope. All right. Well, anyways, you can check our group on Facebook every now and then. We're doing group buys or they're doing group buys and uh, and they give us that code and you can get it for significantly cheaper. And this juice is like, it says premium liquid. It is. It literally, these, some of the most complex flavor profiles in juices, uh, like that straight jacket, the oak barrel uh, bourbon butterscotch, uh, whatever, custard, it's freaking fantastic. Um, and I'm usually intimidated by really long names like that, especially on the savory side, as opposed to the sweet, you know, kind of candy dessert uh, fruit side. But every one of their flavors is spot on, even ones that aren't even in my forte. You know, they have a tangerine menthol or something like that, or tangerine cheesecake that is is really in, it's unique and delicious. So try them out. Keep your eyes out. I know they're pretty expensive, but uh, it's a lot easier to get them that JMA stuff. The, they're like uh, sugar on a dish 
fried sugar on a dish, whatever, whatever that shit is, flan. Um, <laughs> you know, their juice is supposedly really good, but like super hard to get and only, you know, in their group. So try 5150. Their juice <clears throat> is really good and it's not as pretentious. So try them out. Stan, is that enough banter? Thanks, bro. I'm having a, a problem with one of my boards. Um, I've been trying to fix it while you were talking, but it looks like I'm just going to set it aside and worry about it later. Uh, okay. Today I am rocking. I went all tanks, uh, all tanks all the way across. I went ahead and put that that La Petite box. I put my stank on the La Petite box uh, because, yeah, I like it. It looks good. Uh, inside that, I'm rocking 12 gauge from Shots. This is uh, by <sighs> Squid Squid Industries. This is a White Russian, and it's really good. <laughs> it's really good. I also got the Yoko, and on the Yoko, damn it, it like works sometimes, and sometimes it don't, and it's fucking with me. I've got the Avatar on top. Which we can talk about the avatar if you want swags, but holy crap, love of my life right now. I'm so over head over heels with this tank. It's not even funny uh, on the Yoko. Inside that, I've got this right here the quack suck butter goose juice. And then last but not well, no, not last but not least, I got two more melody box. On the melody box, I have the you know what that is. ESG. Your juice flow's not open. The sky, yes, it is. The sky, uh, skyline, sky drop, sky drop. It's got the, the short tank on it, and inside that, I am rocking 5150 detox because crisp apple creme brulee is freaking fantastic. So good, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's freaking great. That last is skull but, candy. Not last but not least, I've been working a lot at my desk, and this thing has been keeping me company, and I love this thing. 16 mil, uh, millimeter dwarf on top. 16 or 18, I don't remember. The small dwarf MTL the 18. with the uh, 18350 limelight Juma pipe. And, uh, yeah, inside this is. Dude, I want one of those so bad right now. Sabores del Encanto, the Pastellillos de Guayaba. Uh, yeah, that's what's in here. And this just sitting here, at the desk, sitting here at the desk, working and just puffing on this thing. And I, I, I want to argue with Mac Tandon after you're done with your, uh, go with ahead. Your, what do you say? He said, JMA is not hard to get. And to him, I say, yes, it is. Because unless you're in the group, unless they have a website now, right. Or wholesale distribution somewhere that you could tell me about. It's hard to get because guess what? Not everybody's going to join a group or JMA? know to join a group and wait for a list to be able to order juice. That's what oh. you have to do to get that juice. 5150 has a, has a website. So you tell me which one's easier. I think JMA is more difficult to get because you have to be in the group and you have to wait for a list to order his juice. That's, Hey, he could do it however he wants. I'm just telling you, that's not easy by, by the terms of website, go there, put stuff in your cart, check out versus join a group that's obscure on Facebook, wait for a list and then order. I think it's a little bit easier to get other juices. Okay. There's two questions that I saw in chat. One of them says we're going to be interacting with chat a lot today because like I said, this is a, this show today kind of got off the rails already uh, before we even started just because our guest isn't here and Louie's not here. And we didn't have a topic. So why not? <clears throat> yeah. <Just> unleash <laughs> the swaggins. <clears throat> Um, first and foremost, TD, TWDC247 says, anyone know where I can get a GT4S right now? Uh, a GT4 right now? Well, it, here's the thing. When they drop them, they disappear quick. Uh, a lot of the different websites out there that we've talked to people from and, and order from and are in the group list in our Facebook group, uh, they, the, a lot of those guys carry that when it's around, when they're able to get them. Um, but what's funny is, is that these bigger reviewers, uh, Mike Vaves, Mark Fagan, those kinds of guys, they've all recently got a, they've all recently got a GT4 and they've been in love with it and talking about it. And, you know, it's an older tank, but because of that, there's been a lot of people that have been asking me where to get a GT4 lately. 
Yeah. I don't have an answer for you. <laughs> Just keep your eyes out on uh, Vapes by Anushi, I would say. Yeah, I don't have an answer for you. Um you are going to have to just Google your butt off and check the BSTs because that's one tank that if somebody doesn't like it, will always sell in the BSTs uh, pretty anything quickly. Anything by Typhoon. Sorry to interrupt, but like think about it this way. This is this is us telling you that anytime you see it available, like look, the Typhoon BTD. It's a sleeper. People like you may see this somewhere and it's in stock and you're like you or you're like kicking yourself because you'll see it in stock. This is the type of company where you see it. And then like a month later, someone's talking about it like, holy shit, I'm going to go buy that because, oh, I didn't realize how, you know, I saw it in stock somewhere. I didn't realize how I at least saw it after it was even maybe if it's like a day later and you go back and it's out of stock and you never find it again. This is the company with products where if you see it in stock somewhere, you buy it. Because Just not only it. is it going to be good and you're going to be like thankful that you did it, but if you don't, it's going to be, you know, impossible. You're going to have to wait to try and find it again because they don't stay in stock or you're not going to be able to find it. But at the very least, if you don't like it, someone else is going to want it. This I'll never get rid of. I love this RDA. Thank you, Stan. For telling me <laughs> did you buy that on my recommendation? I did. Yeah. And I'm glad I did because guess what? You can't find that shit anywhere ever. No, it's like maybe in like a blue moon, they might have some and then you buy them and then they're, they're out of stock for another couple months. Um, also, the other question that I saw, not really a question, it was a comment. Um, it was from, oh, man, who said it? Because it was a name that I don't see a whole lot. He said he can't get a good vape off of his skyline and he's pissed. Um I don't be upset. I I think that the skyline is subpar uh, up against uh, up against the current competitors. That's not that's not digging at the skyline or the sky drop. It's been around for three years now. I think it stood the test of time for sure. But I can honestly tell you that I have one. I cracked the glass and then I bought this other tank for it just because I wanted it to look pretty on my stand because I don't use it. Um, I just hold on to it because of what it means for vaping and I could get rid of it whenever I want, but there are better options out there for you. This is one. And I think it might be in stock over at Vapes by Anushi. The EVL Reaper V3 better, better than the sky drop, better than the skyline. Try that one out. Ooh. Ooh. The evil Reaper V3 is one of my tops as well. The, the, the ones that I think are <clears throat> underrated is the evil Reaper V3, even though a lot of people out there like it. Um, it's not given enough praise. I don't think the evil reaver V3 and the, uh, the, uh, I keep wanting to say the note, you know why that's, that's it's the name because of the it's, mod. you know why it's because it's bottom fill whisper and it has, yeah, it's bottom fill and it has this, um, uh, ring, this adjustable ring where like you basically set it and forget it for how you want your airflow, but it's also bottom fill. So, I mean, if you get the steam, don't get the titanium. I got the titanium, which is why I didn't get the steam tuners top fill because why pay for a titanium tank and then have half of it replaced with stainless. Uh, so if you're looking out there, save yourself the money. Don't buy the titanium, buy the stainless and then get a stainless uh, tuners top fill. And, and you've basically gotten rid of half of my gripes or most of my gripe with this Addy. The only gripe is, is just the bottom fill. I think we need to get rid of all that. So um, the coil right now that I'm rocking in the skyline, somebody asked, is actually, you guys are going to laugh, but is the, um, it's one of these Vandy Vape super fine MTL fuse Clapton coils. I just take a wrap off and I'm rocking it at 0.67 or 0.7 or something. It's one ohm coil. They, they, they have a bunch of different kinds. Um, but they're they're nice coils, man. For it's just dual twenty eight gauge. Always using these. Yeah, it's. Oh wait, the one I showed you is dual thirty two gauge. That's not the one I'm rocking. I'm rocking. It's like dual... ten for three bucks. Exactly, ten for four dollars, something like that. I'm rocking a, a dual twenty eight gauge stainless steel, wrapped in forty right now is what I'm rocking, and uh, it's close to a point seven, point six something, and it's I I enjoy it. I'm rocking it wide open, at forty watts. Now, if we're going to be talking about tanks, and you, you obviously aren't a fan of the Skyline. I saw a couple people in the chat that aren't a fan of the Skyline. The Skyline had a lot of hype behind it. It still does, and I like it a lot. 
Um, but that's because it's a beautiful tank. It's it just is. not it's as a, good as the stank. We'll say it's a gorgeous tank. It's got awesome innovation. It's like you said, it's held the test of time. Um, it holds its values if you want to get rid of it and it, it performs well. It's a little finicky on the wicking, but it performs well, uh, for flavor. I mean, like sometimes you can over, over wick it, things like that. But this thing, the avatar, which I did the video on last last week or whatever holy crap dude this thing has the restriction <clears throat> it's wide open it's wide open it has slightly less restriction than the tank wide open the stank uh well maybe that's because i have half the airflow covered hold on the stank. it's pretty close to the restriction of the stank um but the flavor on this thing the juice capacity on this thing, uh, the look of it, everything about this thing. I have not put this tank down. I rotate between so many different things, and this has been constant for since I got it. This thing has been constant since I got it. I am so impressed with this tank, and I am even the. I don't even mind the Ultim. Uh, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this tank, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, we can't talk about the milligrams on the on the channel, buddy. Sorry, we can't. No, I know it's it's ridiculous. What but we can't. That's the thing. What is this bullshit? Can we talk about racism and the inequality of pay between men and women? Can we talk about that? You can talk about whatever you want as long as it's not related to vaping. Oh, great. <laughs> it's the vape show. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, <laughs> da, 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 da. Fuck you. <laughs> It's ridiculous, honestly. But you know what? Um, just know that higher milligram, I, I'm the kind of guy that doesn't like to go too high with the milligrams. A higher milligram is going to be better in your mouth to lungs, for those of you that are asking. You better still be holding that stank for me. Gosh dang it. Yes, Poon Sauce. I have made a trade for a second stank, and uh, I will definitely talk to you about the other one that I have, bud. Dude, you know I'm what? Made. I'm kind of bummed. I'm not using my S Addy, which I, after getting the stank and loving it so much, traded with you for a S Addy, and I have it on my. You went gym. hard on me for that too. You I really always, wanted that thing. I always get my way. <laughs> so what? What? Why aren't you using it? Just because you like the stank so much? No, because uh, I'm just trying to not be that guy that has 12 setups going at once, like I, I've been in the past. And mm -hmm. so, I mean, I doubled my setups just by, by, you know, realizing that I had these two things on my desk and I was ignoring them. So ultimately like, this is really what I've been going with in, in quarantine. My quarantine setups has just been like a solid tank and a good, you know, solid, uh, regulated squonk. It's just been easy. Cause I mean, I've been working every day working remotely. I don't know how you guys are out there, but, um, I'm non-essential essential in the sense that I can work from home. All the stuff that I can do, I don't need to be in the building for. So they basically just, I think every company is trying to make it work right now, but most of us don't have a protocol for how to work at home or are used to it. So I just find myself working all hours of the day, every day. And it's even more fun when you're high. <laughs> hey, uh, do, you, do, uh, do we want to bring in Mac Tandon? Absolutely. Mac I would Tandon. love to, I would love to chat with Mac Tannen because I want to talk about um, his group on Facebook and what he's been doing over there uh, during this quarantine time. I think it's been pretty awesome. And I think it'd be cool to hear his thoughts behind it, why he wanted to do it, what made him want to do it and how it's been going. And uh, well, he has it. actually, yeah, he, he's been doing a lot of stuff and he is a moderator for a lot of groups. Um, really good guy. If I could get this dang invite here to, so let me see. Give me one second. Copy invite. Here you He's go. He's Chinese, Mark. everybody. So please give him a break. Every <laughs> Chinaman doesn't know about clones or where they um, happen or why they happen. Excuse so. me, dude. I don't think Chinaman is the preferred nomenclature. Oh, I say Chinaman. <laughs> All right. He's one of them slant eyes. Oh, dude. Oh, you can't say that on the internet? Dude, That's don't racist. say that. What's wrong with you? It's cool. I'm Mongolian. 
You're Mongolian? Mm -hmm. Yeah, TD, TWDC, you definitely should. If you're if you're into the high end uh, vape scene and you're not on Facebook, you're definitely shortchanging yourself. Um, you should you should get into Facebook groups and check things out. Uh, I sent the link to Mac Tandon, so maybe he'll join in and say what's up. Uh, you wanted a gent. You wanted a gent. sick boy. Thank you to the moderators for being here. Sick boy is one of our moderators. He says he wanted the gent. I wanted a gent too. That's why I didn't buy the avatar. I'm in the same boat as sick boy. By the way, Louis just messaged me and he said, "Swaggins, you can't say racist shit on the internet." So he woke up for that. Good. You can't. Well, I mean, you can, but yeah, you can't say it. And not be serious. Like if you say it as a joke, it's not acceptable because we don't find that funny. We don't find racism funny. You have to actually be racist if you're gonna say racist things. So I apologize and take it back. <laughs> yeah, Swaggins is Swaggins is technically a liar because he's not actually racist and he's gonna say racist comments. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do it so you don't have to. It's part of my thing. Um the avatar the stank we talked about those uh we've talked about those previously but man Dude, it's the so gent hard not man ah huh? oh, the gent the gent and the thing is it? you Talk know what's funny is i'm on that freaking list i'm on the list for the gent mac tandon hello sir sorry i got to fix the i'm fixing the thing right now he's been practicing you can't be camera shy you've been on camera every day for like the last 2 weeks right yeah <laughs> why not so why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're vaping on, Mac? Dude, I'm at work. <laughs> yeah, the stash box. With the with the abridged. With the bridge. And the Jenna. Yep. That's it. That's it? That's it. I'm at work. I I, I only get one setup a day, but then the stash box i don't believe you i feel like you're being modest because you normally have like 15 setups on you at all times tell the truth work <laughs> <laughs> he's got the big man he's got the big man desk you know what that means he's the boss no, no 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 the reason why we do zoom every night is because i believe that everybody is quarantined and is, is at home so this is our way of practicing social distancing there you go there you and, go and uh Regarding JMA, you wanted to argue, so you should. You're an admin at VSC, you know. If you show up for one of those Zoom chats, that would be a good idea because Joe is there every night. <laughs> and well, tell him not to watch this show because then he'll probably be like, "Fuck that swag." Yeah, guy. he is going to say that because uh, he's coming out, and I'm not trying to advertise him, but he's coming out with a new flavor called strawberry cheesecake. And few of us who've been on Zoom every night, uh, he sent one bottle out to everybody to try it, and. Uh, it's a good flavor. So, and a drop is happening this month, I believe. There's a drop for GMA. So, you yeah, can get it. But, but okay. still, it's a drop. Like, I, it doesn't, everything that you just said doesn't change that I'm right. No, like, literally, but everything I said is right. There's a reason. Like, for example, uh, this, this is not his primary uh, mode of, uh, like, his, uh, his main business. So, he does this in his free time. Yeah. So and listen, not, I'm not, not giving the guy a hard time. To, Alex? I'm not saying screw you, dude. I was just telling you a fact. You said, oh, what makes it not easy? It's not as easy, literally, black and white. It's not as easy as going to a website and clicking add to cart as having yeah, a final not Facebook easy. group join, wait for the – I'm. it's good juice from what I hear. Everybody raves about it. But I'm saying intrinsically, like fact, it's not as easy to get as like something like 5150 that's a premium liquid that you can just go to their website. And All right, anything that's, that's, what I was, that's the point I was making. Hello, anything that's good, is that easy to get? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just saying that is easy Try to get. I'm getting this right good. now. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about juice. And JM, we're not going to, you could extend this out and then somehow win the argument, but you're, <laughs> you can't do that because we're talking about this one fact. And I win. No, you're right. You're right. Okay, you yeah, win. Fair enough. But the, let's talk the about the box, though. Just 15 minutes, 20 minutes, drop by every night, it's happening. I know you're busy. I want to be, I've shown up. I, uh, 
most of the time you got like, I'll get the message when I'm finally not doing something and it's like two in the morning and I'm like, I'm way too high for this right now. Like I, I'm an, I'm an ad, I'm an, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm an admin of this group. I'm going to go in there and not be able to talk. You're going to probably fire me. I don't want to get fired. <laughs> No, but it's been good. It's been happening, uh, and it's 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 getting a lot of people connected. Uh, and I found out so many people that I did not know who were in who were in this business. So it's networking, and it's just killing time because even though I'm at work, it doesn't mean I'm working all the time. I, yeah, empty. Right, especially during this time. So here. No I really here. respect what you've tried, what you're doing there. I. I um, what I love about the, the, the platform too, is that not only can you join the group, right? You could be in the chat with everybody, but through Facebook, you can be, you could watch, you could sit and watch. So you can just watch everybody hang out and hang out in the chat, which is really cool. It, it's very inclusive. Whether you meant it to be, you know, that inclusive or not, it's really cool because it just works really well for inclusivity. Right. Like you can be in there talking, or you could be sitting and watching and listening and be like, holy shit, that's, that's, dude from JMA and he's got juice and blah, blah, blah. So, it, so if you have uh, it, check recently, it out. some big names have started to show up and uh, we've never done a, a, a giveaway on VSC. <clears throat> we've never done that. You know that. That was our, our main thing that we don't want to do giveaways just to keep people in the group. Yeah. But uh, what happened is that because of times that are tough and a lot of people do not have and I'm not trying to be modest over here, but then there are some people who do not have a steady job anymore. They're just laid off. No, so yeah, it's true. Let's give away stuff, you know, for people who participate in it. And that's awesome. Every uh, like RJ is giving away a bridge, <laughs> just giving it away. Way to go, uh, RJ. Dorian is giving away a billet box. So we yeah, like Dorian. Or, sorry. I said yeah, Dorian. I love Dorian. Anybody? So we, the, and you know we Dorian. You've seen with, him. We've started off with one or two things, and now it's like seven, eight people are giving away stuff on BSC just, just to, just to say thank you for being here. That's it. You know what? Maybe I'll give away one of my highly coveted SVA rats. There you go. If I ever show up to one of your shows. So if the people that are asking in Zoom, the group that uh, Max is talking about is called Vape Science Executive. It's VSE. Uh, so you can check that out on YouTube or on Facebook uh, if you're on the Facebook. If you're on the my face, um, still definitely open. Definitely check out Vape Science Executive. Right, that's one of those uh, have to have, one of those have to have things. Essential services. Essential services. There we go. Uh, but hey, I'm you're in New York, right? Connecticut. Okay. Oh, you're in Connecticut. You moved. I forgot. A year you, ago. You, yeah. That's yeah, yeah, so yeah. much for keeping in touch. I knew. Hey, you know what? If you're asking me to remember anything other than your face, uh, you're probably asking too much. <laughs> That's true. Stan is a busy guy. I'm his personal assistant. I know. I'm. I'm. It's not so much I'm busy anymore. I mean, I am busy, but it's it's just my head. I'm. I just can't remember shit. I can't remember anything anymore. I have to write down everything on um, post-it notes, and yeah, it's ridiculous. And I don't have Word. I don't have Microsoft Word on this computer, but I have Notepad, and I've got stupid Notepad text files all over the damn place. <laughs> when you when you write down things to remember, and then you lose what you wrote down to remember, uh, you've got a problem. Right. Okay. okay. Well, we have Mac here. Mac gets a lot of stuff across his desk. He he's tried a lot of stuff. So, and he just recently got into RTAs, but I see him vaping on a stash box with the bridge in there. So. Can I say, how do you feel about the bridge so far? Would you recommend it to people? The stash box, is that available? How do you get it? What's it about? The stash box at the moment is not available. The okay. group, the list, the drop is kind of like done in seven seconds. Yeah. Seven seconds. I don't know how people have such reflexes. I have a yeah. F5 <laughs> wars, man. F5 wars. So, uh, it's it's difficult to get the stash box at the moment. I think a couple of more months of uh, the whole hype, not hype, the whole craze to die down is when this would become more readily available. But at the moment, uh, if you are really good on these group lists and you can jump in and post the way that group that does it, you know, you post a picture, 
I think the BMM has also shut down its doors for now, just because there's no point adding more members and then disappointing them because you're not going to end up getting one. Uh, the bridged, uh, for me, I speak for myself. I really like it because it's direct lung. I can, I can, I can get a direct lung out of it. MTL just does not work for me. Yeah. I, uh, and I think just like everything else, I'm relatively a new vapor, which most of you now know. Uh, RTA was a phase. I'm done with RTAs. You just, just started that phase. It went, and it's, it went it's, side done. by sides and Dude, RTAs. Yeah, man. <laughs> side by sides and RTAs at the same time. Like you even bought my coveted side by side for me. If and anybody knows Mac, he's the guy that says, I like the Skyfall. I need one for every day of the week. Yes. And, he's, and, and he goes on a, tie, a tear for like two months and he gets one for every day of the week with the same mod, but with different face panels. Correct. And because that's, that's what I actually want to do now. I want to figure out what I like and then just stick with it. There could be newer things coming out, but I'm kind of like losing interest in buying any more stuff because yeah. what happens is that if you end up, for me, if I keep buying stuff, I never get to enjoy what I really like. Yeah. I'm always trying new things. So mm -hmm. it's like, when do I yeah. get to use my GT4? When do I get to use my Skyfall? Because there's a new RDA or a new RTA. Yeah. So what I did in the last month is even with the way the economy is and everything is, I've just been lucky. I have managed to sell everything. Everything. Nice. And I've only kept things that I know I'll, I love and I'll keep using them. And for my RTAs, I narrowed it down to four. GT4, GT4S, GT3, and the Skydra. That's it. That's all I got now in RTAs. You need an avatar. This, I believe <laughs> for me, is a phase again. I don't think I have the patience to deal with a Boro tank. Oh my God. I'm with you, man. <laughs> I'm with you. I know better than to sell my, I've already sold one billet box. I'll keep this billet box, but I gave my Delro away to a friend in my community. And I'm like, and some of my, like I got all these bridges around, dude. I got a Bantam box right here with a crossbow in it. I just look at it. I never even use it. It's just like, <laughs> it, I totally get it, Mac. It's such a tedious and, and counterintuitive process. Like, I went through, uh, I, I have a lot of bridges and, uh, and, two billet boxes and I love them, but I have to be in the mood to tinker with them. You know what I'm saying? So I get, I kind of get that too. So relatively, as I said, being a new vapor, I think I'll have my share of fun with this and I'm going to enjoy this, but hearts of hearts, it'll always be a squonk with an RDA. So just in case you guys are wondering, this is a perfect opportunity from the back of your mind. You're like, wait, I should be friends with Mac Tannen. You're absolutely right. You should be, you should be best friends with this guy because if you Bye. want anything, if you want anything that's worth anything, he has it, and he's going to be over it in a couple weeks. So you just have to be friends with him long I have enough to, point out, to be able to get a chance to buy it off of him. <laughs> I have to point out that we just caught Mac Tandon in a lie. Um, what? <clears throat> we caught Mac in a lie. He he told us that all he had Mac on him lie. was – he told us all all he had on him was a stash box, the only one. That's all he had, and then he holds up a squawker right with now. an RDA on it, right? right now. <laughs> no, he he went through his buffet and he had both of those. Come on, Stan. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it's too much to carry. I I I have to. Uh, I'm staying at a different property and I'm working here, so every night I go to that property. Yeah, if you want to come uh, at night when we are on, I'll show you my lineup. Not a problem. <laughs> I've got everything over there, and it's it's been narrowed down again. Uh, RDAs, the flavor, Sky, Sky Drop, uh, no, sorry, Skyline, dude, Skyfall, sorry, Skyfall, flavor, and that's it. Those are the only two RDAs that I think I've narrowed it down to. For you now. like the flavor that much, right? Dude, the flavor, the flavor is, is very similar to the Sky, Sky, uh, Skyfall. I'm not going to lie to you. It is. It's a little more restricted than the Skyfall, but it's. Yeah. It's, it's it gives you the same feeling at least for me i realize that okay. that's what we're coming down to i agree because honestly with this strybog from noricum I'm, I'm saying like it literally the all i could think of is skyfall when i vape it because i'm like you just you pop your build in there you put your cap on and basically you tweak it by maybe raising it a little bit or lowering it a little bit but otherwise it's just plug and play and it's smooth you know semi-restricted direct lung um and that's that's what it comes down to. So the flavor, the skyfall, this guy, I agree with you, Mac. At a certain point, it's like when you find it, you find it. So stop looking for others, especially when they cost a lot of money. 
dude yeah, i haven't touched then, when do you get to enjoy it you have right line up in front of you and you're like okay it's monday and i've got to do my 200 hand checks which i always get banned lately so i stopped doing it <laughs> yes <laughs> Dude, I ended up going to jail twice already. I'm like, what the hell is going on now? Even I think 20 posts and I'm put in jail. So I'm like, I'm going to take it easy for a few weeks. And it's marketing. It, it is what it is. I, I'm always indirectly or directly promoting my group. And there's, I'm not going to hide that. It is what it is. And my, my inquisitiveness to find out what's there is what leads me to aggressively go and post in 200 groups or whatever be the case. So I cannot keep posting the same thing every day. And that's my strategy. But now I have to stop because I get jailed all the time. <laughs> well, I like uh, I like VSE group. Um, VSE group and the, the VF, uh, as well as the Vape Stew crew, just like they all have really good people uh, in that, that are involved in the groups and active in the groups. And I don't get a I don't post as much as I'd like to in the high end vape forum. <clears throat> but I do go through and look at all the pictures and likes and stuff. And, and, uh, there's a lot of good stuff in there. Alex Lubinsky is a member Pokemon. in those groups and he is killing it. I mean, he has everything. I started to wonder about that dude. Like what's up? Where's, where's he's got like his finger on the pulse of the high end game. He's got everything before anybody else does. And I need to know, what you're doing, Mr. Alex Lubinsky. And also, um, if you could help me uh, launder some funds so that I can I can afford. I think very way. similarly, like anything <laughs> else, Alex is doing it the way that I said at the beginning of the show. You have a certain <clears throat> collection that you build up and you sell and trade out of that collection. I constantly, as much as I see him posting and whatnot, yeah, we definitely see him posting more, but I see him in the other groups because I follow him or friends on Facebook. I see him selling or trading. You know, he's constantly in these groups being active, being like, let me trade these caps or let me get these caps for this Addy. And he'll have like the uh, basic version too, but he'll have like all the caps for it. So it looks like in every picture, he's got a different Addy or he's got like 17 different basic V2s, which he may very well, I don't know. But he's <laughs> always got it. He's always hitting it. And, he's, and he knows my style. He's got the same style as me. Black and stainless. That's it. We love it. Delrin, all that jazz. 3D print, stainless steel, whatever. I've That's become a like. stab wood lover. I've, I've, just, I've been getting so much stab Me and Mac wood, agree man. on that. Stab wood is just, it's nice to look at, but not to own. Well, dude, honestly, we man. We your stuff all the time, man. Yeah. That's why I'm loving Visionary, man. Like with his... 2k clear coating he's putting on these things it's maintenance free and it's kind of kick-ass um i definitely am going to be getting my penguin that i'm getting from him coated the same way <clears throat> typhoon makes it's typhoon makes quick even quick if you uh you drop it and you uh, chances are you'll crack it well i mean and then yeah. what <laughs> if you drop your delrin chances are you gouge it. it depending on what you drop it on Dude, uh, I dropped Delrin and it's been fine. Like my cycloid, man. I love the cycloid version 2.1. I've dropped that thing from six feet above concrete and it has like been no marks on it. I don't know what, what's going on, but it's really it's magic. Yeah. Well, Delrin's yeah, easy any, to gouge. Like something if... drops, you're like $700 just fell on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> like... I'd rather a gouge than a chip well, or a I'm, crack. In I'm wood. not going to lie. I don't rock my stab with that much outside the house. So if it falls, yeah. it's usually falling on carpet or something. Yeah. Um, and you know, that's just one of the things that, that comes with the territory. It's like people, people always talk about buying stuff and leaving it on the shelf. I use what I like, what I buy. Like, I don't buy something and then just leave it up unless it's like, like part of my mech mod collection where I go through and use them occasionally. Speaking um, of buying things, did I mention that I bought another one of these? Yes, you did. did. Not on the show. I got, I got on the second list. I got oh. another one of these in black why, you, Del why is it that you like buttons. that mod what is it that you like about that mod it's a regulated squonker that's fucking tiny that's what i love about it that's everything i love about it sometimes you, you need a staple regulated squonker i mean sometimes you just do i could rock this 0.28 on a mech squonker and it'd be great as well but you're at the mercy of the battery this one i can vape it until the battery's at two percent and then i swap the battery out and i'm good to go it's not until like between that two to 19% battery that I start to feel a little bit of less power. But on a mech, it's like you get a sweet spot and then after that's done, you got to switch the battery out. And that's fine, 
but you know, for ease of use and just not having this be on my mind really right now with everything going on and all the work, um, this is the way to go. That's why I use the rats so much, the SBA rats, but this is a bigger bottle capacity and I can fit a bigger bottle in here. So that's why I'm using this. And that's why I got a second one. Are you allowed to tell everybody that the list is on for that mod? Uh, the second list already went. I don't know if there's any spots left, but the best thing about any group, and I will always say, if you respectfully reach out, if you're in a group, you respectfully private message, or unless you read the rules and it says don't private message email, read the rules first. But there's always a way that you can get in contact with the, the manufacturer or the modder and just ask him, say, hey, do you have any more? Because sometimes people back out or sometimes he might have extras. So he may have extras for that second list, but invoices just went out like a week ago. So I think that list is pretty much button, buttoned up at this point. I think I could get onto that list last night. It's open. Well, really? it's still open, but that's because he may have extras or you may just, just take your, take your chances if you want to, but know this, you gotta, you gotta have the money, you know, you gotta have the money ready. Yeah. It's... I think really the only thing that I'm uh, interested right now in getting a hold of is the Strybo, which I know is already on the way. Been wanting that for a long time. And uh, since we had, uh, since we had, uh, uh, why am I trying to call him Tay? Head. <coughs> huh? Shit. His name's today. Oh, no. Tad. Yeah, Tad. Corona. Oh, excuse me. Um, since, <laughs> um, since we had uh, Tad on, I've been wanting the Strybo, so I can't wait to get that. And then I'm super, super stoked on my, um, my penguin that's coming, that's being made. Hopefully, he gets the block soon. But Something else I forgot about that happened right before Corona, and I don't know where it is in the world. My DPM, uh, I ordered. Oh a, shit! I ordered a DPM dot to a long time ago that I, I sent a custom block that. to him for, and uh, I've been waiting on that for a minute. I don't know where that is, and I also ordered a Russian mech mod a long time ago that should be around somewhere. I, it's, it's like floating out in Corona Land, um, so. That's how that's I going for me. If it's not uh, against the rules, I don't know what the rules are. But guys, keep an eye out for the Haku group. There yeah, you go. Coming okay. out with a lot of uh, new designs and products. That's all I can say right now. I think most people know about what the product is. If you're talking about that, oh, no, these are it. not. Uh, I wanna, anyway, if you are not in the group, join the group in a couple of weeks. Didn't uh, we show pictures for that on the show? Yeah, a few weeks ago. If you're talking about the one with all the uh, attachments. No, there's more. There's oh, there's more. more. Join, join the group. If you like <laughs> Haku products, I know Poon, Poon Sauce loves Haku products. Join <laughs> the group because that's where you're going to get it first. You know, this is the thing about Haku. Uh, if you're not familiar in the chat, um, they're really pretty widespread spread and popular. Like they're like a, a, a titan of high end at this point. They're, they're a branded name. You know, they stand the test of time. They stood the test of time. But with them is like they'll have limited releases and lists at the start and then like a few months down the road maybe like three six months down the road you'll start to see these products out in distributors but if you want to get it now you have to be in the group you have to go to the lists they will be there like that's the thing is like if you want to wait on it they'll be there down the line but if you want to get it you got to be in the group <clears throat> at the start look who finally got out of bed He's alive. Finally got his butt out of bed. He's going to come in here, sex hair, all disheveled. Um, you know, With it's 22 it's, minutes left in the show. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. We just can't One see you. One second. Oh, <laughs> oh, I am disheveled. Trust me on that one. I believe you. Oh. Uh -huh. While we wait for Louie, can we just take a moment to say, if you guys want the prospect or you're not already in the VSC group over on Facebook, why don't you go over there and put in one of your responses, not the age one, but just say, um, you know, the, the VF sent me and you'll get accepted uh, because this will give you an opportunity to hang out uh, in the night chats, the video chats, and, and possibly hang out with us because I'm going to try and make it a point to be uh, to be able to make it to more of those. Even 10 minutes is fine. Drop in and drop by. Like stop in, hang around for a few, and then leave. It's like... Uh, That's not how my brain works. Jose. Remember? Hmm. Yes. Like the that 90s baseball. Alive. Yes. So I don't know, but it's been <clears> fun. And 
more and more models are coming in. So they are talking about the new products because there's so much you can talk about the virus, you know? Like, I'm going to come and hang out just so I can get some, I can finally get my hands on some JMA juice. Cause I miss every freaking list. I've been in that group for over a year now and I've missed every list, every single. <laughs> hey, All right, I'm um, going to send you two bottles just to no. try it. Hey All Mac, right. is, uh, is your group secret? It's private. It's not, I, it's private. You can people find are saying, it. People are saying they can't find the group. It's private, <clears throat> well, not secret. Just you know what? BS if you're on BS. Facebook and you want to join, we'll we'll link the group in the VF forum. There you go. Uh, Facebook group. We'll do that after the show. And uh, you know what? In fact, I'll let Mac Tandon. He can post the the link in there for you guys, so you guys we'll, can. We'll, we'll mark mark it as an announcement, so you guys can find it. Just there check, you go. Check, check there the you announcements go. tab. Hey, turn your camera on, Louie. We want to see trying. the disheveled sex hair. I'm trying. <laughs> it's terrible. I'm sick of looking at your uh, glamour shots photo. Logitech made me do an update right before I did this, and now everything's all disheveled. Go ahead, Mac. (laughs) Word of the day. (laughs) We were talking about uh, Louis. Like, this guy just disappeared. Like, nothing. No chats. And Louis was very uh, frequent on videos. Dead to the world. So are you sick? Like, as in sick, uh, regular sick or the... I'll just use my laptop camera. What's up, guys? Hey. Yo. There he is. That'll work. Dude, Louie, you look like hell, man. What happened to you? I got hit by the worst flu bug I have ever got hit by. Dude, this is the worst flu season, you know, in in our lifetime. I had a flu shot. I've never gotten a flu shot before, but I was like, I I just had a feeling something was going to happen this year. You know what, man? I I got hit by the bee. The only time I ever got a flu shot, I got the flu. Isn't that yeah, funny? that's what I'm saying. I don't take the flu shot anymore because I never did it. And then I did it one year because I was a teacher in a past life. <sighs> and they were like, hey, free <sighs> flu shots. And I was like, fine. I lined up at the nurse's office, got my flu shot. My arm hurt for like a week. And then I got the flu. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> what the hell, man? Never again. Yeah, my arm was killing me for like a week. But yeah, apparently like, I got the A the A strain injection, but I, I swear I just heard e. you say I got the AIDS. Ugh. The AIDS. <laughs> I got the AIDS. <sighs> yeah. No. Well, oh it's good God. to see you though, man. It was terrible. I literally was like, I was in bed for like two weeks straight. Just like, he had pal disease. Six so six. did you? Oh, did you lay off the vaping for a while or what? No. God no. <laughs> well, what are you vaping on right now? Oh yeah. Well, I got this little new guy. Dude, dude, tell me what you think. I want your your thoughts on the avatar right now. Ready I love it. It's so good. It is so good. Why? The flavor is like up there with like this little guy right here. This little Integra. I mean, it's like competitor wise. Bang, bang, mm. bang. And that's dude, another highly sought after. I just traded my Integra. Claimed. What? That's how much really? I like the avatar. I traded I'll my Integra trade for a second S tank. I've used this like twice. I'll never trade it because someday we I will have, tweak. It. Sebastian was supposed to hit me up last night, but uh, he never he never contacted me. So I have to find. Maybe he thought it was next Sunday. So that's okay. Thanks, well, that's Alan. Okay. You condescending prick. And then uh, we, got, <laughs> we got one of these little guys right here. Oh, oh I'm on top chat. Oh yeah, on top of the sturm. Mm. Uh, yeah, you know what? You have been talking that. RDA up like crazy. RDTA, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. What's the deal with that? Dude, this thing is it it's it's like uh God, what is it? It's it's probably the best RDTA out on the market. I mean, it's just flavor rich, nice tight MTL if you want it. I got it like 1.5 millimeter airflow set up on it right now. But you can do a uh, restricted DL. It's kind of like a 2.5, no, two two millimeter airflow hole right, right there. Full titanium. The guy who machines the titanium parts for Lamborghini mm-hmm. does the machining for this. Really? I, I've, I yeah, I've never seen machining this good before. It it's insane. Titanium is. If you ever had a titanium atomizer before, they're usually rough. I've never seen titanium machine like this before let alone like stainless steel like the, everything is round every it's got that you know you oh know you're talking about that other addy the one that looks really cool but is way too expensive for me 
it's, it's yeah. pretty expensive. Yeah. It is pretty, it's a pricey little thing. Yeah. Got a little, ah. Uh, you know, you got the little wee, uh, what is it called? There it is. Meshrooms. Yeah, that's the real reason why. Oh, I had a Getting horrible your experience cotton. with mesh rope or with the wire rope things. Well, you feed it up to your cotton. You just lay the I cotton know. on top of the just... rope and you're you're good to go. It just sucks. You can't cut that. Like I need I need a I need a lesson on how to. It cut comes that with shit. four stri- It comes with four strips, which should last you a lifetime. Oh, that's, that's not good. that's not the four one five, uh, Robert Riggin. That's not the S sixty. Is that the the S sixty one's the four one five? No, right? this is the um, Vampire Mods Epos. Yeah. The EPOS squonks, and uh, and you can just use it as an RDTA. And then there's the Vampire 2, which just is an RDTA. Basically, Louis is just teasing you with his uh, praise of this thing because it's impossible to get. And it's, it's sexy extremely looking. Expensive. If you want one, you can join the Vampire Mods duh, America duh. Facebook group, and I'm an admin there, and you can hit me up, and I will get you one because there, uh, there are 300 made, and there's I think there's about 12 of them left. So you want one what is the price on those things uh 208 yeah it's not i guess it's not bad considering i mean the the this was like 200 with like uh i got an yeah. extra beauty ring and tip with it you know so it's like general generally especially for the quality of that you said oh, yeah, the type, yeah yeah you're paying for the the, the top. I, I forgot what grade. Um, Surge told Plus me what grade titanium it it's is. It's mesh, man. The mesh, like, look at the four four and five is a bad example because there everything's expensive for four and five because, it and it's worthwhile. It's from Japan. Japan stuff is Japanese stuff, whether it's vaping or anything, it's very expensive. But um, <clears throat> the the mesh addies, you all they're always expensive, man. The 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 way that they engineer those things and the people that are buying them, that's for the real creme de la creme, you know, super fans of. A vaping. I'm let me never this, gonna do it. Let me let me get a lot of people think this is a mesh addy. It's not. It's a cotton based um addy with just oh. steel ropes going up to the cotton. The, like the Broomhill was. Yeah, exactly like the Broomhill ones. Or like the little shortcuts that Mark Todd does with his RDTAs. He puts like mesh down the holes of feed it up to the cotton. Yeah, uh the V one vampire I believe was a mesh. This one's a, a true blue cotton based uh RDTA. But um yeah, I, I like it. It vapes like a regular old um Genesis. Um Mark Cohen, he's also um admin for the group. Dude You guys see him over in VSC a lot. How kick ass is this juice flow control? I uh, dude. Quit, quit. <laughs> I I can't It's I so can't simple stop. and and easy and just it moves so smoothly and oh ceramic oh. balls. Ceramic balls. Your balls are ceramic? I will say this. I found a problem with the PC tank, though. If you, you can't tighten down the, the tank down too tight and then put this down too tight because it pulls tension on the bracing. You know where the juice fill port is? Yeah. A little bracing. It pulls tension on it, and it separates the brace from the actual tank and snaps it. Ooh. Yeah, so well, Sebastian's going to be fixing that. They didn't get me. They st- I got the Ulton. So I'm well, happy I yeah. got that thing. Um, Ultimate, you don't have that problem with. Mm-mm. But he, yeah, he's gonna fix it. He's sending me a couple new. I'm trying things. to broadcast this video on my group VSC. I cannot do that. Um, if you, you want to, if you want this link. video, uh, to put up afterwards, I'll I'll send you the link and you can put it up on your thing. I'll send because you the. I, uh, I can download the, the video and get it to you if you want. I did post the link for the YouTube thing. And I see people are giving likes on VSC. So I don't know whether they're coming up, they're showing up here or not. What they, else do you yeah, think? They can watch it on your page, right? Through no, the player there. No, no. Why is it that you do not broadcast it while you're here on uh, you on uh, Facebook too? I'm just simulcast. Asking. Because yeah. this is the because for us it's like Facebook our community like where we can hang out we're, we're show first so we created the show and then we basically created the Facebook group as a companion community to this that way people that are fans of the show we have a place where we can all like do hand checks talk about things they can add ideas ask questions right so for you you're like community first which is why 
we want people to go over there. Why you like you've been a sister group to us since the beginning. We've always been part of yeah, the very and beginning sh- sharing our communities because you guys are Facebook first and we're not we're, we're show first. And then our Facebook group is a supplement to that. So as much as we're in the group and whatnot, the show is where we start everything. This is where the focus is for you. Hey, it's different. It's working. Is that that makes sense. <laughs> so that's why. <laughs> Louis' technical situations, <sighs> they make me laugh. <laughs> I am so out of it. Oh, my God. This is horrible. So um, yeah. how many alarms did you sleep through this morning, Louis? I'll show you. Mm, no. let's, see. <laughs> let's see what's on Louis' alarm book. Uh, like that many. <laughs> you can't even see my phone. Just give us a number. Oh, man. Uh, all those. There you go. <laughs> Five. 15 minute alarms going off every 15 minutes and they go off for the whole 15 minutes. Clearing I think there's gotta be some scientific study that shows that like after the third snooze, your brain is not going to wake up. I again. didn't even wake up and hear the snooze. I didn't oh. hear the snooze. It just went con- continuous death. And I called it. Playing. And I and called him. And he oh, yeah, I got this that. little guy too. Dude. Where? I love that. The, Let me uh, turn some lights on. Where's my purple I, one? I have to stop looking at those because they're too expensive, man. The only money I'm going to drop like that again ever is going to be maybe on a solar storm. Maybe. A solar storm, really? But the problem with most of the solar storms is every time I get close to wanting to buy one, it's like it just the jewel on the button. I don't like the color of the jewel for the button. I'm like, I like everything else, but all this, then I look at the, the color of the button and it's like brown or yellow. And I'm like, I don't, I don't like the button. And when you you're know, spending seven hundred dollars on a mod, everything has to be mint. And I'm also not spending seven hundred dollars on. I'm not like trying to reach out to him and be like, "Let's build it out from scratch," because I've done that before, and I don't use that. You know what I like about the dot about DPM, and I know we've talked about it before, but you were talking about single battery unregul or single battery regulated mods. Uh, Good blood, dot- guys. Good blood. I had to get the dot too because for one, I've had three DPM mods. Three or four, I don't even know anymore. Um, but I'm a fan of them because they're under four hundred dollars. Pretty much everything they have is under four hundred dollars, uh, and the, the they answer all their stuff. They they send you pictures of everything. It, it's it's quality work, and I'm excited to get the Datu. Uh, I hope it doesn't get lost in the mail. I don't even have uh, chat up. <laughs> Whoopsie. But but that's like that's in the same realm as. The solar storm is is one of those things. It's it's highly the, the finishing on it. I mean, it's highly polished. Um, it's very clean. It's very small. Uh, you've got the FP that Louis showing, and uh, I hope that the Datu comes in to be that that kind of quality. And I, you know, especially at the price point. The reason why I love the guys are FP Olic and Gian. They're just <sighs> Gian is just one of the nicest guys I ever. You had the pleasure of messing, you know, messing with and, and vape. He's just a genuine nice guy. I remember when he first started, when he had he had this uh, regulated squonker, and he just was always like this. Not he never tried to make his products like they're elite, but he never tried to make them out of people's like realm of being able to pick one up. You PM him, you 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 can pretty much get one, you know. And then I, I met Oleg um, from XMTC. You ever guys see one of the elemental squonkers? That, that's that guy. He helps out with this. He actually puts the mod together. Gian does all the wood and all the pretty. Now, the the, the difference between the V1 and that one, there's a whole lot more, like, trim and stuff on the V1. Yeah. And V1. I'm not going to lie. I like the look of the V1 better. Yeah. Uh, the V1, <clears throat> the, the actual shape and feel is the same. This is um a lot lighter. Then the V1, the V1 is definitely a, a pocket puller. It will pull your pockets down. This has a lot less um, parts that fit together. So there's a lot less. There weren't issues with the V1, but there room for potential issues with the V1 just because of how many parts had to fit together perfectly. This one's just a lot more streamlined design. Um, but yeah, I like this one. I use this one a lot. It's just a good feeling mod. Just the, just the design itself, what they put into this thing, it just fits in the hand like so perfect, whether you're right or left. It doesn't. I would definitely use the shit out of that mod for oh, sure. Yeah, it's a sexy I just mod. can't. 
I, two years in now at this point to high end. And I'm like, I'm not my old self where I can say I'm going to drop $700 on something and, and use it all the fucking time. Like I want to, that mod right there is the epitome of what I would go for. If I was going to pick up wood, yeah, I, I like natural, I like uh burl wood and I like the look shape and like button placement on that mod, but I just can't, I know my track record shows me that when I spend 500 plus on a mod, I keep it on my shelf. Yeah, Joe swags show, a Delrin yeah. one and he'll change his tune real quick. Oh, he, <laughs> I'm he not going to spend the kind of money they want on a Delrin one, man. It's just, that's too much money for Delrin. At they that got point. the Delrin ones too. Joe, Joe sick boy. He's looking for a Delrin one. Yeah. There he is. Like, like he said in the chat, been doing waffles. I'll throw 20 at the chance. I'd throw 20 at the chance. That's about Yeah, They it. do waffles. I think uh, every two weeks. In the group. Um, did they you know, know me so well? They put a nice little die code in it for me. That's right. Well, Louis, do you remember when Mac Tannen started his side by side RTA freak out? He's over it. Oh, I know. He's he, over, he, it. He, I He's over it already. A month ago. He's over it. Over it. Me and you were talking what, a month ago. And he, you were like, he got yeah, me to sell my he got me to sell it. my side by side. So <laughs> what's your new trend now, Mr. Mac? He's on that stash box life. Oh, so, oh Lord. <laughs> hey, if you know Mac, you know he's a he's a BMM fanboy. Oh, yeah. Why not though? BMM makes the best the best three they do. 3D they printed make, mods I I've used. I love Charlie's Charlie's um 3D print, the way he does it, it's on point. Yeah. Charlie yeah. Rowe is is a yeah. great It's the guy. only 3D printed mod I've collect I've I've kept in my collection. I actually, I think the only 3D print mod I still have left is a BMM snitch. That's the I, I, the I want a Rico, man. I kind of want a Rico. Really? The only thing about it is it's 2700. Nice. No, yeah, no, no, no. The snitch is 2700. The snitch no. is 18650. 18650. Which one's 2700? Billy Club. The Billy Club. No. I and had. He made an 18650 version of the Billy Club, didn't he? Called the Blackjack. No, 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 blackjack. no, no. I had a 2700. Is the blackjack worth it? Snitch. Is it that much smaller? Yeah. The only thing is that you cannot put a beauty ring. It's exactly 22 mm. That's fine. When you're ready to get rid of that, hit me up. I like everything about the look of that. Carbon fiber, <laughs> stainless buttons. Mac doesn't part yeah. with his BMM, man. All right, all right, all right, Mac. But let's be honest. You shake your head, but seriously, hit me up. <laughs> no, I swear, stay, I swear. I swear I had a 2700. over this trend snitch. in about. Four months, so you just bide your time. That's what I'm saying. Like you, you're so adamant right now, but seriously, if you don't remember that I asked for it, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> we have video, <laughs> it, we have video proof, me. Mac. Video proof. Well, guys, wow. hey, you know what? I appreciate you for coming on, Mac. Uh, I appreciate you, you for so finally for being you here. Appreciate you for finally being here, Louis. Um, I know there was a 2700 snitch. Damn straight. See, I got one. I Once had one. No, no. Yes, I there was the because I rocked I rocked the firecracker the red um the red Sanyo A's in it because that's the only twenty seven hundred I had at the moment. I think you're thinking of uh, Huck. Huh? He had a mod called. Uh, it was the snitch. It was the snitch because I didn't like the name of it. I'm telling you, it was red alumide with gray alumide doors. Yep. You remember okay. that mod? Swaggins? Yeah, I don't I don't know if it was the snitch or if it was like something else. Ah, uh, it was it was I'm standing by it. Twenty seven hundred snitch. I had one. I think um, it was the boof. Anyway. <laughs> it was probably a clone. <laughs> the boof. <laughs> um the thug. the thug. The thug. Oh, the thug. The thug. It was the there thug. Okay, well they're both names I don't really like. But hey, you know what? It, it was a cool mod. I loved the I mod. That was my one thing. I wish he would name it something different. Yeah, the that thug was. was what it was. That's what it was. Yeah. Um, and I'm not going to lie. The name is most of the reason why I got rid of it. I just didn't like it. I didn't like it said thug on the side of it. Um, kind of like that Thug Life RDA that was a good RDA, but it said Thug Life on it. <laughs> Come on, man. Anyway, um, thank you very much for being here. Greatly appreciate it. I will be dropping – or I'll have – Mac, man, feel free to drop the link to your group in the Facebook group because I probably I already forget. did. All right, cool. 
Um, so there you go. There's that. Check out VSE. Um, thanks for coming on. Is there anything else you guys want to say before we go? Thank you. Go check out, uh, jump in the group and, and, and put your notifications on cause they do those lives and, uh, and, uh, maybe we'll try jumping in more of them. I'd love you guys to, are uh, coming in tonight chat with some of you guys. I've yeah. Got, why not? I, I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Send me a message. Okay. I All should right. be around. I'm not going anywhere. I'm stuck in the house. Ninety six percent of Americans, not not on cold medicine no more. I can talk now. So, uh, dude, I'm glad it was just you know. like the normal flu. Oh know. my! I was so scared. I had the Coronas. I was like, oh, oh. I had the Coronas. I was so scared. And I I wouldn't go to the hospital because you know the hospital's overrun. Did the extra toilet paper you picked up help you get over it? Oh yeah. Okay. Just dude, that was sure. the worst. I couldn't poop. I, I could not. <laughs> It was so bad. Mm, got y'all backed up. <laughs> it was so bad. Oh, God. Well, thanks for hanging out, everybody. All right. You guys stay safe. You guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend. And remember, you stay classy, San Diego. Expect Vape no on, imitations. Friends. Expect no imitations. Accept no imitations. You see, you mess. You do it so much. Every you mess time. me up on my own shit. Swaggins. Thank you for my mouse is